Oh, oh, Jesus. girl, no, girl. This got dark. Hello. Hello. Welcome to a story worth telling where we review LGBTQ plus media representation. So we've we've come to the end of like film festival. <laughs> There right. are no more films. Yeah, not for a while. Well, well. There are actually lots of Actually, films. if you are a Patreon, a patron, then there are always going to be films once a month for you. Um, yes, we've recently revised our, our tier. And if you're on our top tier, you can also get live streams. I know. Once That's a month, true. you get Very to see exciting. us do something. I'm actually very excited for that because I, I, I really enjoy that little Christmas light stream. So um, today yeah. we're doing down low. Yes, which, we're finishing it off with like yeah. a funnier thing because yeah. I feel like all we've been doing is crying into buckets lately and as much as it, you know, good to feel stuff, I don't want to anymore. You can also feel <laughs> joy. Yeah, you can also laugh. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm a big fan of Zachary Quinto. Yeah. Big fan. Daddy. I remember him when he was in... Like uh, Ultimate Daddy. Heroes, where he played really good villain oh. in that. Yeah, he was really good. Is that really old show where they all had superpowers? I don't think it's that old, but thank you. I mean... It's early 2000s. It's that, that early 2000s Early show. 2000s. He's one of those, like, when you think about, like, gay actors, and you've got, like... You know, he, he always comes to mind as, like, in the top list. I don't know why. He's just great, though, isn't he? I like him as Spock. Yeah. Spock! Spock! <laughs> <laughs> but this is meant to be funny, and we reviewed the trailer to it, and I think it could be interesting, because I think, and we don't know because we haven't seen it, but purely off the trailer, it sounds like he's playing someone who hasn't had any for a while, maybe ever. And that Can is representing. <laughs> <laughs> and Lucas Gage is like a gay as well, so. Is he? Yeah. Is he really? What else has he been in? He what? was in La Victor! <laughs> he was mm -hmm. Benji's boyfriend before he got um, with. Yes, and he was a douche. He was a douche. He was a douche. He was, he was like a douche. Yeah. 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 Anyway, anyway, so um, before we jump in, uh, do check out our Discord, which is a beautiful place to go and join the community online, speak to people, make yeah. friends, and discuss things. things. All the things. <laughs> all Just and, discuss. All the things, yeah. Uh, yeah, and we do loads of fun stuff over there, so go check that out. Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pedro? <laughs> I was married. To a... <laughs> oh. Ooh, Zachary! I think I need a bigger plant. I've yeah. never had one that you get the thing though. Oh, it's good. I've always just been face down in a pillow. <laughs> All right, and tell me about the massage. <laughs> Is there any area in particular you want me to focus on today? He's done this before. Uh... Is this a dream? That's a penis! <laughs> I did not expect that. I can honestly say I did not expect that. You don't go into the spa room and roll over and you go... Depends where you go. There's a reason why it's called the happy ending package. I don't think it's called the happy ending package. No, I added I package, <laughs> but... <laughs> I'm not sure about this. No, that ruined it for me. Yeah. Oh, can we... It's not karaoke. Your two sons, are they hot? I don't know. Come on, Gary. You're clearly a fairy, or at least... Now you are. <laughs> They're my children. Can you imagine filming this scene? Imagine Phil. being the sound producer on that scene. <laughs> You're the first guy that I've ever been intimate with. Cute. It's not a big deal, Gary. <laughs> this is a big fucking deal. I need a drink. I need a drink. Come on. Come on. Sure. It was a long time ago. The world's a different place now. Oh, bitch, please. I, I love this because this is like a clash of generations. I said this when we watched the trailer. I'm excited to see the generational divide and like 
even though it's a comedy, there'll be like really important conversations between like younger and older people and like how like things have changed. And that is what I love to see in representation. Like one of my favorite things mm -hmm. because I think it's a huge conversation starter and it gets people talking and people going, oh, why are we so mean to each other? Oh, I know. Maybe we just talk about like how things are different for us and then we'll get through that. Like, great. Yeah. And I like that they've done it in a really like organic way. Yeah. Yeah. You Just know. Like two guys meeting up for a coffee. When the hookup turns into therapy. <laughs> Which has actually happened quite a lot. All right, this is a happy movie. We'll be happy. <laughs> happy. I'm trying! I can't believe I'm telling you this. I, I got married so young. I had kids so young. What? They have a gay dad. What's better than that? Yes. Well, I have an inoperable brain tumor. Oh. I thought you said it was Oh, shit. Out. I guess there's no better time to come up than now. No time like the present, I say. Words of affirmation is not my love language. It's it's more like... <laughs> okay, no, okay. It's like I just realized that I've been alive for nearly half a century and I haven't actually lived even a second of it. Let's find someone for you. Someone you've always wanted who will put what you want first. Honestly, can... You just finish the hand job and go. Oh, shut up. Oh my god, there's so many hot guys. Now, do you know what lighting in your house makes you the most dewy? Never. Uh, never without proper lighting. Dom top, DL, mask for mask. I love to suck. Wait, what's DL? It's down low, just like you. Oh, I like. There you go. But Cameron, I might not be ready for this. I mean, it took me a week just to work up the courage to call you, and now you, 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 That's you true. invited. Oh, I'm true. getting That's Fire true. Island parallels. You know, we can't be pushing people right, when he's right, trying right. to push Howie to do things. Yeah, like, oh, that's true. mean. Oh, no. yeah. Got to respect people. But sometimes also they just need to kick out the door. Well, you know, you don't know until you know. Until they're on your knees. Or their knees. Someone's knees. And then you know. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> I don't think I could keep the picture of my wife and kids in the same place. Just because his wife and kids have left him doesn't mean he doesn't love them. Yeah, but you don't want them looking down at you while someone else is going down. You make a good point. Right! <laughs> I'm just saying that Kids want to be astronauts when they grow up firemen. They don't pick sex worker at the job fair. Right. God forbid I found something that I'm good at and I monetize it. But you can't do this forever. <laughs> Write this down and remember it fondly. I don't need your fucking help. Yeah, but a bit, a I bit. I think he's compensating. Yeah, and a bit hypocritical. Like, who says he needs your help? By the way, big mistake. Big, huge, pretty woman. Finally, a fucking reference you know. Well, Pretty Woman is one of my favorite films. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's the gay's coming he's out. <laughs> so get in and get out. Oh, you can get in, all right. Mm -mm. Hi. Who the fuck is this no, Mr. Rogers looking here. ass dude? I thought I told you to wear something sexy. Uh, fuck, you're sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you leave the fan over there? What do you mean, anything? I just think... It's a talking. little bit pornographic. Well, we haven't seen anything. Did we need to at this point? No. <laughs> little Oliver twist-ass bitch. Oh, God. It's like a juicy bratwurst. You make me sick, you little orphan boy. What is with the Oliver twist shit? This is not my thing. Ow, Fuck out. you. I'm better one-on-one, -on -one. Oh. and it was just you in the picture. I'm not even gay anyway. <laughs> you just casually reference flowers in the attic. I'm warning you, I'm gonna knock this you the fuck well. out. Oh again. no. He was out of line. He was way out of line. <laughs> oh no. But he really traveled. Gorgeous landing. <laughs> so we just killed a man. So he's dead. It was an accident. It was an accident. It was a rather provoked accident, but an accident. An accident nonetheless. I want to go back to everything else that just happened. 
Yeah. Okay. You know... It was a catfish profile. There's a lot of, like... Uh, I mean, it was filth. But... <laughs> Out of there. It was very... I thought this one was a lot more on the nose than, like, what Fire Island was. Yes. Like, the, really yeah. quite... Uh, this is... This so, is... So we, yeah. This was made for gays, for gays, and I, I feel so. like... By gays. By gays. And I feel like it probably is not that accessible to a lot of people. But what I admired about it is that, <laughs> <laughs> apart from, you know, admiring stuff, they were doing a lot of, like... um iconic kind of like every other line seemed to be something that was a kind of like a thing that you would find one of those like hypocritical uh kind of problems in in, in the gay community like he was like oh what a wife oh you're down low i'm hiding or i'm married or like you know or like i'm or he was like i'm a top only and it's all those like kind of like one-off lines that yeah it was funny because it was like set in comedy but like if you took all those individually you'd be like oh those are those kind of phrases that harbor a lot of um kind of ag aggression aggression especially in like among gays and on in the grinder community and like but i feel like it's funny because we've all experienced those people yes we have and some of us are those people and some of us know those people mm. and and it comes out sometimes as like kind of forms of disconnect because like people don't know how to express things and so they will express things in these kind of like you know like everything they were saying i could imagine almost like as messages yeah you know on the app yeah and I think that's a really creative way of kind of like doing that in film is like mm. kind of kind of showing visuals to what to what that looks like when it's no longer behind the app. It's actually like face to face. I know, but I would never say something like that. No, I know. It's shocking. It's really, really it's shocking. So like... Exactly. But then yeah. like, why do we say it on apps? Yeah. Why do we say it? Very why do we feel point. comfortable to say that Very to people behind a phone screen? You know, be respectful. If you're not into it, just say sorry. Just not, not, not for, for me. me. Don't get on your knees and become an orphan. Yeah, I didn't really get the Oliver Twist shit. No, I don't. I mean, his Dom sub stuff's never really been my, my jam. Well, like, even if it is, I don't think Street Urchin <laughs> is rather erotic inducing. You want more soup? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Please, sir! <laughs> You're gonna take his side. Two repressed queers blaming their shame and misery on me, a secure, stable homosexual. Stable? Oh my God. You wanted him to come here. You practically forced me into this. Oh, I forced you to hook up with two hot dudes. I'm so evil, Gary. Gary, no accidents happened. It was your first night being gay. Did you really think you were gonna make any mistakes? This is more than a mistake, Cameron. You pushed me and my lover is dead. At least that's what I'm gonna tell the cops. Ow. He's awful. Yeah. He's just awful. I kind of respect it, though. <laughs> They are next to a lake. Hmm. Just say it, you know. When in doubt, obvious. use your resources. When in doubt, dump the body in a lake. <laughs> ASWT advice. So where are we taking him? Oh, I came back. Good. Good human. Don't look at me like that. You're weak. I feel sorry for you and thank you for saving my life. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck, he bled through the tarp. That's Mountain Ashwood. It's really porous. Oh my god, you're so gay. <laughs> <laughs> we can't answer the door, I have no idea who it is. Oh fuck. Avon Lady calling! Oh. Oh. Hi. Gary? Hey, uh, hey, you're you're not in that gorgeous little palazzo across the way, are you? Oh. Where's Gary? She pissed. She's Pissed as a skunk. Flower. To make my chocolate chip banana bread for my church. He's doing a terrible job. See. He's doing a terrible job with it's this. It's not easy. I have to admit though, Hakai, it still looks really fresh. You don't have to hide it. I caught you red hand. Okay. Look, it was, it was a whole mistake. And, and then one... I got Patty's card. The whole neighborhood did. Oh. You don't have to be ashamed of loving him. Gary's a wonderful man. I think it's uh I think it's nice she's down with the gays. Yeah. She's quite open minded about the whole thing. She's like <laughs> she... Caught you in an apron. Must be a gay. 
think it's nice. Think she's it's a nice. drunk white woman. Of course she's down with the gay. <laughs> Sandy! Johnny! You did not spill all those cosmos. Church girls know how to kneel. You little minx. Just make some work. No, she's gonna see the body in the closet. She's gonna see the body Thank in the closet. I think they're gonna have to kill her. Request. Yeah, they're gonna have to kill her. Yeah. In no way do I believe that you are going to hell at least, not just. <laughs> she thought wrong. No, 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 Sammy. You're trying to kill me. I have just taken a fistful of drugs, and I will be sedated or dead within minutes. You know nothing. Sick. Twisted homosexual depravity. <laughs> you subject my Christ-like body to. Sandy, listen. I'm really concerned about the amount of pills that you seem to maybe have taken. And for the love of God, if you have more, I would absolutely buy them off of you. <laughs> <laughs> it was Dukes. Oh right, the doggy Nicole Kidman into the lake. Virginia Woolf. Then yes. And you still keep his cage? It's something to remember him by. Okay, He's obviously locked. You can't lock a closet from the inside. Mm, says the expert on you being in the You are literally shut up. She said Patty wants to talk to you, but you just refused. Yeah, well, you wouldn't understand. So you're gay. So they reacted badly. Call them back. Take some advice from a kid who gives happy endings for a living. Oh, Here we go again. Oh, oh, boys. It's not their fault that this all happened. No. And that's an important thing to remember. I yeah. Think. If you if you are if you are someone who's kind of gone through this this kind of scenario, that's yeah, really important absolutely. to remember. But again, it's like they can't quite understand it from each other's point of view because coming out is completely different in the space of probably not even that much of an age gap. But like Cameron clearly is someone who has never had to know that it would be a problem mm -hmm. for him or anyone to come out. But and Gary has. We don't really know anything about Cameron though. No, but he's giving it away in the way that he's actually being quite defensive about things. Yeah. That clearly things are not happy go lucky yeah you know and that's the problem as well i think i think that kind of stems again back to this whole like the reason that often generations fight between each other is that i think we don't want to admit that there are problems that we all have and that we may not all be happy all the time about certain things and it's kind of getting past that and going okay well like let's talk about it instead of like kind of being like well no i'm better than you or i'm better than you like mm. Yeah. Or I'm less bad than you. Or I'm less bad than you, exactly. And instead and instead we should be going, you know what, yeah, okay, I have these problems. Like... You can learn things from each other. Exactly. I mean, think of all the things you could learn from Gary about life. Absolutely. And think of all things you but could But equally learn from Gary is like, you know, oh, you're just being ridiculous, you're just a young person, you know. And equally he could learn things, you know, which I think they are. I think they are. I think they are. They're going to learn so much. And then they'll be the ultimate murder gay couple. And you know what? I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> a couple looking for a Get the cosmo. body. <laughs> My whole life I've been good. A good husband. A good father. I didn't enjoy any of it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I empathize with kind of going, I want the easy, you know, I want to take the, I want to do things that give me, you know, the easiest way to get on with things and, and less problems. And that's, that's a, still a choice. It's a choice, but like, I think we all want that. And we all don't want to have to like do the things that are going to bring difficulties in our lives. Mm. And it's like a, it's a, you know, ah. Oh. I feel actually that there's probably, there's no one person that can be blamed for, you know, how, how they all turned out. I mean, society is, is society is part to blame for well, society creating, is a, creating a context blame. in which you don't feel comfortable being yourself. Yeah. I mean, that is to blame. 
but then ultimately you make a choice every time whether to be you do but the pressure to make that choice if you never had to feel that pressure to make that choice of hiding who you are we would have so many generations of queer people getting to live their authentic lives not in shame and not having to like get to this age now and like Hmm. it's a sad sort of like you know it's that what if you know we could have changed things and it's and we're very grateful to have things change now but like it's not fair it's why we always you know should take note of that of the, those history things you know things like lgbt history month and go remembering the people in the past because they were those people that had to deal with that shit and like had the pressure of that <clears throat> we take for granted the ability of being our age and pretty much didn't come out when we were like in our teens and it wasn't you know just just and 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 we we could do that mm. Is, know your history yes know why you are privileged enough and why you where people stood before you and how that affected how that affects where you are today and what you get to be today is so fucking important i've gone very you've got thumb of political hell <laughs> i just noticed that i actually envy you gary oh please no seriously i i do I mean, you spent your whole life lying to everyone about everything, but you still have a lot to show for it. You know, my dad didn't even acknowledge when I told him I was gay. He just said not to me or not. So maybe that's the point of the film as well. Don't make assumptions Don't about make people. assumptions about people. Mm-hmm. Like, the irony there of like, yeah, we did do that. Because we were putting our preconception ideas of yeah. what people in Cameron generation are like. Shame on hers. Well, yeah, yeah but like, <laughs> that's brilliant filmmaking to be like, yeah. the point oh, of the film you is thought to... thought he was like that? Well, yeah. In his own weird, demented way, he... He thought that if I was gay, he'd have to stop loving me. Okay, church organists can play with or without pipes. Why would a church organist advertise on the dark web? It's code. For what? Sex stuff? Organ harvesting, duh. Oh shit. (laughs) (laughs) Gary, Gary, this is our guy. Flesh puppet. (laughs) Collecting lifeless lamb chops for play with no strings to hold me down or attached. Oh! Oh, girl, no. Girl. This got dark. My god, Gary, you're right. We need to give you a makeover. Cameron. It's not really the time. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Costumes! I'm I'm feeling like like. daddy, not that. That is Elton John. That's good. I don't think now is the time. Now is the only time. Why did we settle back into a shirt? For me, but in blue. Yeah. You are a total... Zachary Gary. Yeah. Oh, Zach. Okay. Zachary Daddy. Brilliant, 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 I tell you. Buck. Uh, I'm, I'm Gary. You're like hot. Yeah, I know, life ain't fair. So, <laughs> where's the body? Are you a cop? A cop? Yes. What? No. Wait, are you? No. Uh, where'd you kill him? Uh, we oh, right him. outside. You move the body? Uh, it's just in the closet. Fuck, that makes your cleanup much trickier. You guys ever seen Gone Girl? Just, just a part with an Netflix stick. Gary? No. You guys are making very quick work of this. I'm impressed. I might have to hire you guys. Ah! Wait, how much are you paying? It's your subconscious, Gary. Guilt's creeping in. Just ignore it. That's what I do. This is a terrible idea. But... Got it's a musical? It's like the end of RuPaul's Drag Race where they like take the stage and they like flounce around. <laughs> yes, except nobody dies. Let the music play. <laughs> Let the music play. Is this what it's like? Yeah. This is what it's like. To be. Free mm. and gay. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god! Nobody is okay! Did we maybe think about, you know, dealing with the body first? Did they finish the job? No. Wait, how much longer do you got? A month. Oh. A month? Give or take. I'm gonna... I'm gonna let you guys terms of endearment it up together for a little bit. Oh, Gary, I had no idea. I didn't tell you, so... Well, I wish you would've. Where's my egg? Uh, give me my egg. What the fuck are you talking about? Did you put it down your pants? No, that's my dick. We both saw your dick in the lake, Buck, and I think we can all agree it doesn't look anything like that. Boys? Boys? Come on. There's a better way we can work this out, right? Oh, I don't know where this is going, but I don't like it. I don't want Buck to have the body. Gary, it's practically rush hour. No, we cannot give the body to this twisted, dark-sided psychopath. What the Twist. Fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? He's alive. What? For God's sake. What the fuck? He's still alive, you fucking idiot. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. I'm not gay. Babe, what? I'm not gay. Oh, I'm fuck not off. Gay. I can't have my family knowing I was here. Don't call the cops. Please, please, please just let me go. You'd rather die than have your family know you're gay? I'm not fucking gay. Oh. Jesus! I feel like that was unnecessary. Oh my god, you, you <laughs> I again. think that was a bit unnecessary. <laughs> Holy fuck! It was just Nicole Kidman me in a lake with my dog. Oh, it's a good choice. Hey. Hi. Oh, my. Have you been gardening? Uh oh. Um. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I don't remember a thing. You don't? Oh. You you were threatening self harm, and then you locked yourself in the closet before we I could uh, help you. I'm so lonely. Oh, she just needs a hug. Give Are her a hug. You You're a good man, Gary. Last night might be the most alive I've ever felt. I'm really glad I met you. Even if multiple people are dead because of it. <laughs> Yeah. Aww. Oh. Sexy times! Yay. And it was all a dream. Okay. Good. Are you sure that was your first time? I just fit right in there. <laughs> <laughs> in case I forget to tell you later, I, I had a really good time tonight. Cameron. Thank you. Is he still alive? Recently coming out as a gay man, Gary O'Connell died on Sunday, May 31st, peacefully in his home. Donations in his memory may be made to the church. What the fuck? We're we gonna crash a funeral. That's how I feel about that. I'm kind of here for it. <clears throat> Hi, buddy. I got your fucking invitation, you Hallmark hussy. Go! I'm here because I cared a lot about Gary. A lot. And I got to know the real him. Now Gary would have hated this. And you know that. Let me tell you this. We all made our choices. But the truth is, if I had known, maybe my choices would have been different. Because this was never about me standing in the way of what Gary wanted. The both of us wasted so much of our lives trying to be what the other person wanted. And we never did get to be who we wanted. Neither one of us, ever, until the end. 
We had the courage to put all of that aside. And that is the man that I finally got to know. So God help me, don't you dare stand there and tell me that I didn't know who he was. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. <sighs> she said the right... She said... Yeah. Yeah, she fucking nailed that. And that that guy said that he should call his family. And I just wanted to say, because of you, we got our dad back. He wanted to make sure I gave it to you. He said you'd know what to do with it. Can I just get a moment with him? What? Can you turn around, please? Sorry. Oh, Gary. My lover. My friend. The day I penetrated your virgin hole oh. was the best day of my life. At least we came together. What? No. I'm not sure this is what he wanted, actually. He said I'm he not... wanted to be put in the lake. Where are you going? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is happening? He's coming for you, Duke. Dripping in time. Oh, it's weird, sweet, sad. <laughs> it's like a what the fuck? That is the weirdest fucking thing. I'm not entirely sure what we've just watched. <laughs> we've watched um, an interesting take on intergenerational queer culture. That's what yeah. we just watched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes there doesn't need to be an and then. It could just be the end. Uh, just because you're different ages to people doesn't mean yeah. you don't and share you should... things in common and you should try and reach out. Yes, and you should never assume. Never assume. Never make, never judge everybody. And before. never kill Quite anyone. Exactly. And never do a lot of things. <laughs> Please nothing. don't name all the things. I, I wasn't gonna. gonna be here for I a got while. to it, yeah, and I was like, just yeah, okay, yeah. What did you think of that? <laughs> Was that, was that, was that fun? I have fun. Was that fun for you? No, was that fun? <laughs> I don't know what I mean. Okay. That was a good right. Time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you. <laughs> we'll see you maybe with something, something more. Goodbye, yeah. street urchins. Yeah, see you later. <laughs>